my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekly love reading for this week of September 11th to the 17th. Keep in mind that time is fluid, and this reading can resonate to anyone who has strong Leo in their chart. Stick around towards the end here, Leo. I will be getting each zodiac signs, feelings, and actions towards you for the week. So let's see what your overall themes are for this week. And you have the energy of magnetic souls. Your sacred souls are instantly drawn towards each other. You also have clarity. And final shot. Okay, so I definitely feel like this is a very strong connection here. I feel like you may have found yourself next to this energy or more attracted to this energy and feeling like there is a special connection here. And I feel like that's where this clarity is coming in. I feel like there has been a feeling of attraction between you and someone. And I feel like this week there is a sense of clarity, clarity. It's seemingly so on the energy of giving the connection a chance. So some of you may have not been a hundred percent certain that there was chemistry or attraction between someone and, or, compatibility and some of you may be coming to an energy of a cycle where there is newness and new decision making where you are more decisive on connecting to this person especially with final shot here because it says now is the time the clock is ticking if you never shoot your shot then you'll always wonder what if so I definitely feel like you know there is just this the, something feels special, something feels important, something feels connected, and there is this moment of clarity within this person where they're feeling like they want to make a move on you here, Leo. So let's see what else we have for your theme cards for this week for love. So we have Darkest Fears with the Nine of Swords. So some of you may have been very stressing about love or stressing about giving this person a chance. And that's definitely could be where clarity comes in. Let's see. You also have awaiting results and the energy of dedicated effort. So seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles. So there's either been a strong contemplation on fear connected to this person or fear connected to love. But there is definitely someone here that wants to put effort into you here, Leo, with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel as though there is also another thing that I want to say here because, you know, the energy can be between the two of you, either one of you, and things along those lines. I feel like for some of you Leos, you may have either contemplated this connection for a while or there was contemplation on your love life for quite some time on if you wanted to put that type of effort into someone. Some of you and or both of you, you could resonate to both of those types of messages where you feel as though, yes, the contemplation of where you place your energy and also, yes, on the contemplation of who you allow to place their energy into your life. But there is movement here and there is effort and that's what spirit is showing. And I feel like that's why you have magnetic souls, clarity and final shot because there's just some sort of feeling in this connection that makes you to feel like you want to put in effort to see where it goes. There could have been a weight around this that may have caused some fear or may cause some fear. But I definitely feel like there's movement here. Some of you may be deciding to give someone a chance to also make things up to you as well. Let's see what we have with more details here. Okay. So we have darkest fears to the six of cups. So um, indicating fear-based energy in your past and or could be children involved or just a strong sense of fear of repeating the past. 
On awaiting results, we have the Six of Pentacles and on dedicated effort, the Nine of Swords. Okay, so the Nine of Swords is here again. I feel like for some of you Leos, you are giving someone a chance this week or wanting to put your effort into someone, but there is a fear-based energy about either repetition of the past or a fear that you won't be reciprocated on this level. And I feel like Spirit wants you to go with the flow with this energy because there is the Nine of Swords here twice, indicating that there could be some overthought. I feel like this person could be overthinking about you. You may find yourself a bit overthinking as well. I feel like for some of you, you both could be. And your possible challenge with this connection, we have the Two of Swords. So it could be some indecision or refusing to open up the heart. Definitely final shot energy here in terms of your advice you have the knight of cups so your advice is to open up your heart your advice is to understand the importance of this connection of this new person and or this effort and not fear that it will be a repeated cycle and your outcome is strength okay so leo i definitely feel your energy is a bit controlled i feel like you have a sense of working through fear this week around a connection where you either don't want to put in effort that isn't reciprocated or you don't want to over put effort or almost what's the word I'm what's some what am I trying oh come on where is it I feel like I was about to say it and then it got lost I was kind of like not bringing the same mental belief system to this person who's either putting in effort or whom you want to put effort into. So we have the five of cups flying through. You also have the 10 of swords that flew out. Um, on the nine of swords, we have the nine of pentacles on your possible challenge with the two of swords. We have the nine of wands oh. on your advice with the knight of cups. We have the lovers and on strength, the three of cups. Okay. So I definitely feel like there is a little bit of pullback on your end. I feel like you are contemplating giving more of your time and energy as I feel like you may be receiving some effort from someone. And that brings on the contemplation of what you give. But there is a five of cups here to the six of cups. So I feel like because of what effort has come your way or is come your way, there is this fear of you being let down still. And that definitely could be something tied to your conditioning, to your mentality. And I feel like that's something that is being worked on this week that you may find yourself facing. So I definitely feel like there's a connection around you here, Leo, but I feel like there is also a lot of thinking about it. And I feel like you want to make sure you're seen, heard, and valued in a specific way before you put more effort into another person or this person. But it doesn't mean you aren't putting any sort of effort, but I feel like there could be more open-heartedness, especially with this Knight of Cups and the Lovers being your advice. I feel like there could be more vulnerability in this connection that in your challenge with the Nine of wants to the two of swords is exactly what isn't or being difficult to obtain this week and open heartedness and letting down the guard. Because I feel like for some of you, you still feel as though you are that wounded warrior that needs time to be vulnerable. So with your outcome as strength to the three of cups, I feel like you are keeping strong in this energy. I feel like you are in, uh, you could find yourself in a dating situation this week or getting to know or getting to feel out a chance with a person or in giving a chance with a person or feel out a connection. I feel like you're feeling out a connection this week. That's the type of, ooh, that's the type of energy I'm picking up. Um, I feel like you are or have been physically around this person with the seven of pentacles to the six of pentacles to the ten of swords. This shows me physical energy where you have either found yourself by them, with them, or in a company with them. And I feel like that's where you are also contemplative this week in 
will the physical energy reoccur and how? So some of you may start dating someone on a more serious level or start dating someone again or start feeling someone out. If you feel as though you want to date this person, there's something about that. So I feel like you're going to be trying to connect to your heart and to your mind and you may feel like they are a little bit I don't want to say the easiest to get on the same page this week, but it will bring you more clarity. And that's what is will help you grow and help your energy expand and the connection expand. If that's something that is free willingly decided to do. So, Leo, this is what I have here for you for the week. Uh, in terms of zodiac signs, you have Gemini and Leo could be dealing with anybody. That's just the energy, but I get a lot of thinking. I get a lot of internal energy, and I feel like there's a connection around you coming in strongly, especially because of the way it feels with you and this person, that there's a lot of contemplation on how far you let this into your heart or how far you let this into your life. So... Let's see what we have in each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards you this week, Leo. Take what resonates to this portion of the reading as well. Do not force a reading to fit or force this part to fit either. So let's see. This is for Leo. And these are the future actions for the week. So do keep that in mind of my intention with this weekly Okay, here we go. Leo, all zodiac signs, Aries, to Pisces, future actions towards you for the week. Let's get started. We have Aries. I wish things could be different and the seven of swords. So I feel like there could be some avoidance here from Aries. You may be feeling like an Aries is avoiding you or they may not be necessarily telling you everything and how they feel. Um, they do wish things could be different. So I do feel like if the circumstances were different, I feel like there could be possibly more um, confrontation of possibly what's on the mind and on the heart, but there isn't. So they are in a bit of an avoidant energy or... Possibly you may feel like there is some sort of assumptions between the two of you. Next up is we have Taurus with you were the best thing in my life and the three of wands. So Taurus may be decided to wait to see if you will be reaching out to them with you were the best thing in my life. I feel like with the three of wands as their actions towards you, they are in more of a waiting position to see if you'll take action towards them. I feel like if their waiting position feels like it's taking too long, there is a possibility of Taurus action towards you, but I feel like they may spend their week waiting to see what your energy will present. Next up is we have Gemini. I couldn't let you get close to me and the high priestess. So I definitely feel like there could be some withdrawal here from a Gemini. You may feel like Gemini is pushed back or pulled back or pulled back or not really being as talkative or as expressive with how they feel. And that's because their energy is coming in. I couldn't let you get close to me. I feel like they don't want you to get that close into their heart and their mind and all of that other things. With them, I feel like there could be some things that they are open about, but there could be like very strong surface level energy with a Gemini, especially if you're around and connected to them. Some of you may just feel like they're withdrawal as a whole. Next we have is Cancer. I hide behind material things and the Two of Cups. So some of you may be connecting to a Cancer this week, coupling up with one and or spending more time with a Cancer this week. They could be hiding behind materialistic things in the way of gifting you or dates or doing things that have to do with um, the material world. But with the Two of Cups here, you may find yourself connecting with one or being vulnerable with each other or more open. Next up is we have fellow Leo with I wish I had treated you better and the five of cups. So there could be some disappointment here between you and Leo for this week. Um, some of you, your expectations may have been very high about this Leo and they may have not lived up to them or they are not living up to them. I feel like this, this Leo has wished that they 
have treated you better in some way, shape, or form or aspect of this connection. But I feel like as a result, this Leo is also still disappointing you somehow. I don't feel like they're living up to what you expect or are expecting from them at the moment. Next we have up is Virgo. I wish I could share my good news with you and the five of pentacles. So some of you may be feeling very left out and neglected here by a Virgo this week. They wish they could share their good news with you, but I feel like with the five of pentacles as their actions, they're ultimately not sharing their good news with you. Some of you may have abandoned a Virgo, eight of swords. Yeah, you may be in your head about if this is old over or if this is just done for good. Um, I feel like Virgo may also find themselves overthinking and you also have the magician. Yeah, I feel like there is a lot of confusion on what action to take. And I feel like um, there may not be much action from a Virgo this week, but I feel like they're trying to attract action from you somehow with that magician there. Next up is we have Libra. The timing just wasn't right for us and the Nine of Cups. So some of you, there could be a turnaround and a timing may start to be right between you and Libra. With the Nine of Cups here, you may find wish fulfillment with a Libra this week. Um, the timing could have been off because of internal influence, external influence. Whatever the case may be, there is some wish fulfillment coming from a Libra. Let's see what's connected to the Queen of Cups. Could have or start an emotional connection with a Libra where possibly there wasn't good timing for it. And now it seems to be that there could be more flow with your emotions. Next, we have a Scorpio. You and I were too young and the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like there could be some immaturity between you and Scorpio or some pettiness. I'm feeling if you are connected to a Scorpio, you may have found that you two may have been on a bit of an immature like level with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like things will be looking up and getting more stable between the two of you. There's just patience needed. And I feel like Scorpio is moving in a slow movement of possibly more maturity and stability to this connection. Next up is we have Sagittarius. I want to tell you how I feel and the Ten of Cups. So Sagittarius wants to express themselves to you. They feel like they can have a strong sense of happiness with you. The whole thing, the family, the house, the kids, the fam, the, the fam, um, the friends all getting along. They definitely want to express that they feel a very strong sense of happiness towards you. And I feel like they want to act on that this week. So definitely could have a lot of happiness with a Sagittarius. We also have Capricorn. I know I messed up everything with the Five of Swords. So definitely could be some stressful energy here between you and Capricorn. They may have felt like they messed things up here and possibly destroyed the chances with you. With the Five of Swords, um, could be headache or really not the easiest times with Capricorn. May have felt like this connection was just a really big difficulty for you the hermit as their actions and the king of swords yeah i get distance from capricorn i feel like they know that they mess things up here between the two of you and i feel like they're almost mad at themselves for doing that with the five of swords um the hermit and the king of swords so i feel like some of you may be ignoring them or giving them the cold shoulder and it's almost making this energy mad at themselves first I don't know. I'm just getting that from that combo. Okay. Next up is we have Aquarius. Finding out the truth crushed me and the queen of swords. So I feel like for some of you, Aquarius is acting very distant. I feel like they are open to talking to you if you do take action towards them, but I feel like they're not necessarily in the position of wanting to be the initiator. Um, finding out the truth crushed them. So possibly some things were revealed or something opened their eyes to this connection that may have hurt them or caused them to create a sense of distance between the two of you. And lastly, we have Pisces as we will be together again and the Ace of Pentacles. So definitely an offer coming in here from a Pisces. Some of you, there's definitely an offer to get together and or build or grow in the physical. With we will be together again, you and Pisces may find yourselves somewhat distant or apart and Pisces indicating that there will be offers on the table this week between the two of you. Let's make sure everybody is out here for you, Leo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Thank you, and my beautiful, wonderful Leos. I do want to start ringing this at the end because it just brings such a familiar sound. I hope you have a wonderful weekend with many, many years.
many, many years to come. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week, um, wherever you're at in the world. It's funny because I was actually wishing someone a happy birthday earlier. Um, do not forget we have the angel wings and the blessed bracelet as the free goodies for the month of September in my Etsy shop for any kit purchased. You can find the link down below and you can also customize the kit to Leo. So once again, thank you, my beautiful Leos. I hope you have a good one and I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.